In this video, I will be showing you how to edit a simple or difficult blogger template. And we're going to be using Word, Photo Bucket, and of course, Blogger and your blogger template. So in the beginning, what you want to do is find a template that you like. I am using a template called SEO Guru. It is white, green, and black. Uh, I really like the way it looked, so I stuck with it. But I did not know how to change any of the things inside of it. I was not that, I wasn't very smart <laughs> then. But it wasn't until I sat down and began to figure out what the HTML consisted of and how to change in things of that nature. I paid attention to what it was and how to do, you know, what I needed to do to change it. And so when I changed it, I was like, well, most people don't know how to do this. So, like, why don't I just show them how to do it? So that's what I'm doing right now. So what we're going to be doing is I've already got it open. So ultimately, this is what it's going to look like. Well, this is what mine look like. Yours may look like something different, but the point is to get you to see what I've done to get it that way. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do this from scratch. Again, I've done this 12 times already, literally. Is we are going to SEO Guru XTML, upload your, upload your template. So when you log into your blogger account, you want to go to dashboard. And when you go to dashboard, you want to, uh, hold on, let me, okay, so dashboard, design, when you get the design, you just want to click edit HTML. And there's the box where you need to upload your stuff. Choose file, and then you upload it, okay? Now, what you're going to do with all of this is you're going to copy it, and you're going to paste it inside your Word document for now for time purposes, time constraints, and, you know, lack of time. I've already edited it the way I would like it to be edited, okay? Now, this is what it looks like originally, Okay? But as you've seen in the beginning, we changed all of that. Well, majority of it, anyway. We changed the first and the second slide, and we changed the majority of the features at the top row. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to paste that HTML inside of your Word document, or it could be Notepad or whatever. Floats your boat, you know. And you're basically going to find... Whatever it is that you're looking for and you're looking to change. So right here, it says that uh, business, downloads, parent category, featured, health. Now, the only one that I've kept inside of uh, this HTML is music because I have a music channel. So what you're going to do is you're going to find that word, music. Okay. Now, wherever that word is, it's going to be the rest of your uh, text letters for the rest of your title bar or menu bar. That's what I want to call it. Now, right next to this music uh, word is a clickable, uh, clickable website. Okay, so when you click on the word music, it'll take you somewhere. Okay, that's what this is for. This href equals comma dash or comma that's where you want to put your website inside of this between this comma and this comma okay also what you want to do is you want to find out where your slides are so you just want to type in slides No, 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 actually, no. What I did was, is I typed in the title. This is, there we go. All right, now here are my slides. 
In order to change the picture of the slide, what you would need to do is you would look for the source. Now the source is, let's take number three for example. Number three, right here, you see where it says source? And it says HTTP, whatever, whatever, that blogspot.jpg. You want to change that to fit your, uh, whatever you're promoting, or it could be a picture. So, um, Let's say for you can go to photo bucket and find I don't know. I'm gonna take this. And wanna get the HTML code. And then I'm gonna come to a new thing I'm gonna my barber. I love a Mac because it has too many ways to do things. I love it. And you're going to find out where your source is. So it says image source, and then it has quotes. So you want to copy the quotes to the quotes. So it's after JPG, you want to copy those quotes. Copy that. Then you want to come back to your Word document. And where it says source, you want to start from those quotes all the way to the JPG quotes and you want to paste that in there. Okay. That's all that needs to be done. And you can change this to say something like where the H H H three is, you can change it to say look at my new car or something. Doesn't it look hot? Okay, and you're gonna hit Command A if you're on a Mac or Control A if you're on a Windows. Command C if you're on a Mac. I mean, yeah, Command C if you're on a Mac. Control C if you're on a Windows. And then you're going to just come over here to where your blogger HTML is Command A if you're on a Mac. Delete. Command V if you're on a Mac. Control V if you're on a Windows. And you're going to just save that. Now, once your blog has been saved, you view it to make sure it is the way you want it to be. And voila. Look at my car. Doesn't it look hot? <laughs> okay. Now in the menu bar, I've changed some things. Scripts and things of that nature. All of this is editable. You can even change the colors if you want. But I don't, I don't really feel like messing with it. I want to change it to be purple, but I don't want to. I don't even know what color this is to start with. But I mean, I can change it if I want. So, but yeah, that's how you do that. And um, when I figure out how to make the clickable images go to specific sites. Also, what I was saying about this music thing is um where was it at? Okay. See where it says music and then it says contact me. Let me put those two sites there. So, when I click on music, it's going to take me here. If I go back and I click on contact me, it's going to take me there. See how easy that was? So, that has been my tutorial on how to edit your HTML. 
it's very, very simple if you do it in Word or Notepad or any type of Word editor because you can find your information easier and faster and you can upload it faster rather than sitting there scrolling through all of that HTML and being lost. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment, rate, subscribe, and or just comment and rate. You don't have to subscribe if you don't want to. Um, and I hope you guys are blessed. Um, and I'll see you guys later.